the need to reduce the rate of trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants within the West African sub-region has birthed the launch of a regional platform. To extensively mitigate this menace, the Network Against Child Trafficking, Abuse and Labor, in partnership with the Action Against Trafficking in Persons and Smuggling of Migrants, with funding by the European Union, has launched a regional network in Abuja, the nation's capital. Our correspondent, Mujisila Matomi, now reports. Overcoming the increased rate of unsafe migration and trafficking in persons in West Africa is the reason for this gathering in Abuja to tackle the multi-billion dollar industry where vulnerable people are targeted. Concerned groups have joined forces to launch a regional network termed the West African Coalition against trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants. Well, basically, I remember we started to discuss about how to, to create this this idea that today has been has been presented uh, as a reduction. And at the beginning it was easy it was to say in which year of our uh, five days we can involve obviously in the partnership to try to create a better collaboration between the uh, countries in the region of the South Africa. I think it is a great idea to launch this regional platform, what like some as also all the Western African countries can collaborate among them. Spain will be there always for you and we will always try to help you as much as you need. The government is already collaborating at international cooperation, regional cooperation, so we need the civil society component of it to also cooperate across the region. And so this platform is coming at the right time to supplement what we have already existing within the government approach. On the part of the former Director General of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, Julia Cardonli, the platform could not have come at a better time as collaboration is key to addressing the menace of trafficking. Like I always say, if we are doing all we can in Nigeria to fight human trafficking and smuggling of migrants, but the other countries, the neighboring countries, are not doing anything or are not doing as much or are not collaborating with us, it would be an exercise in futility. Because what that means is that we are trying to stop it here, but it is going on in other countries. And so there's no point, it's just a waste of time and energy. For us to also be able to move faster than the perpetrators of trafficking in persons, gender-based violence, those who don't mean well for our children and young people, we also need to have a very formidable platform. Trafficking being an organized crime, and smuggling of migrants also being a crime that transverses uh, international borders, it becomes necessary for us to form a coalition, you know, so that uh, we can be able to handle the crimes. Reports from the United Nations have shown that 80% of victims in West Africa are trafficked for forced labor, with 16 West African countries endorsing the launch of Waxipsum. Stakeholders say the platform will help rescue millions who are victims of trafficking. Mujusola Matomi, TV360, Abuja.